And number three, we have Labyrinth of Souls. Now, I like this one because it gave me kind of that vibe of the early 90s uh, first person games. Not quite so much something like Doom or Quake or even um, Duke Nukem, but there was just something about this that kind of made me think, this is intriguing. And I like the idea of having to kind of go to the center, get the soul, come back. And although it's fairly short, there's, there's so much more that could actually be done to this and so much more that the developer could add to it. And if they just took the extra bit of time to do all that, this would be really, really good. I know it was done in 72 hours, but, you know, ultimately, it's definitely worth a play just to at least kind of see if you can play through once on hard without being caught. Definitely worth a play. And number two, we have Jack McLantern. Now, when I played this on my channel a few weeks ago, I managed to get myself what I considered to be out of bounds, but that didn't really deter from how this game was, how it played, and the potential that the game has. It looks really, really nice. I enjoyed playing it. You can tell that a lot of work has actually gone into that game. The developer has clearly taken pride in what they're creating here, and they've not skimped on just rubbish controls or terrible looking graphics have actually taken the time it's great and i like the whole idea of having to kind of get those uh, soul things back and actually being able to uh, deal with the combat properly the combat was pretty decent actually for an indie game so i would actually recommend this to well anyone give it a go guys well i want to carry on for now and number one, we have Planet Realm. Now, initially, when I played this, it was very odd because it's not something that I've really played before. But I have to tell you, after the video, I played it again and carried on. And I must have been on it for a good hour and a half. I took the time and I, I, I really, really enjoyed my time with it. This contrast of the colors, it's great. It's a nice, easy game to play. It's nice and calm. You don't have to worry. You don't have to rush. Take everything at your own pace. Try and find things. And you'll notice little things all around in the game, here and there. Just little Easter eggs, I, I would like to call them. But this one is, it really blew my mind, honestly. It's just a nice, calm and pleasant game to play. So this is, well, it's definitely a game I would recommend. Definitely, guys. Give it a go. So I'll leave the link to all three games below in the description for you to have a go if you want to. And I do have playthroughs on my channel. Feel free to check them out as well. And I will see you next month with some great indie Unity games.